power-ups, the whole situation that EA has made Madden 19 solely about, is that something that you guys believe should be going on in Madden 20? Do you think that it hurts the game more than help it? Do you think it's false advertising, the way that they display that these cards are supposed to change and that they don't? We're going to talk about that right now as we go through it. Um, the first thing that we're going to look at right now is the actual team, so you guys can get an idea about what's going on. I want to make sure that I'm very, very clear about what I'm going to be explaining to you guys right now. If you're new to G Myers World, feel free to go and follow me on Twitter at G Myers World, Facebook and Instagram, all at G Myers World. So you, get, you can get kind of an, uh, an insight into what I try to do with the game. Uh, yes, it is a lot of rage that goes on here. I live stream daily, twitch.tv forward slash G Myers World um, on a regular basis as well. But the objective is I want to see the game better. All right, now one of these things that I have an issue with, with the power up, which I believe that a lot of you guys that are watching the video right now, whether you're new, you're old, you're a veteran rep, whatever will believe, is that the power-ups don't really make that much of a difference. Other than the fact that you can add red chems and things along those lines, it doesn't really matter. And I have an issue with that because it kind of forces you to do stuff for the wrong reason. Let me explain. Let's take a look, for instance, at Gronkowski. All right, we're going to go to his upgrade screen. We're going to take a look at what's going on with him. On the right side, let's just check out what his power up, his tear, everything that's going on, right? It shows he's a 91 speed right there, all the other stuff that's going on. As far as, far as his run block, he misses every block, so I don't really know. I, they haven't been able to fix blocking for a while, so we're not going to worry about that right now. What we're going to look at is this. He's a 91 speed, right? Now, with that power up situation... You can also, like all of you guys know, my veterans already know, we always added more stuff, the sprinter, all that stuff. Like, yo, we finna make this guy super fast, right? Now, let's look at this right here. And why, th me personally, I don't think that power-up should be in Madden, um, Madden 20 unless they fix it mechanically for each and every stat to actually matter. If they're able to do that, then they have justified what they're doing. If they continue to do what they're doing now, I'm fully against it. I love what the, and, and I want to also be clear with this, I love the Mutt content and what they do, but the development of how it plays on the field is absurd. That's just point blank, period. So let's take a look at what's going on, right? All of those blue chemmed up numbers, because this catch in traffic being 99 is an absolute joke. He drops the ball just like everybody else. But he shows as a 95 speed right there when he's chemmed up. Gronkowski does not move anywhere near a 95 speed in this game. He absolutely does not move like that. So even if you wanted to argue with me that power-ups and all the chems and the blue chems and all that stuff matters, you would be lying to yourself if you were able to experiment the way that I did thoroughly. Because what happened was I did a live stream and I was streaking Gronkowski, right? And I'm like, yo, let me just see what's going on with him. And I was trying to figure out, like, yo, how, like, what is he really doing? What, what's going on with this guy? So I streaked him and I noticed that he moves so much slower than other players, like, uh, even, even with uh, Franco Harris. With, like, Franco Harris, bro, like, he has a base 92 speed, but then when he, his card power-up goes to, like, a 93, before you add the sprinter and stuff, he moves a lot faster. Now, you might say, all right, Grunk is bigger, so, you know, that might have something to do with it. Maybe his structure is built. All that stuff sounds good. But, like, guys like George Kittle, right, the reason that George Kittle is so fast is not because he's chemmed to that 97 speed with Sprinter and all the other stuff, that's not why he's that fast. He's that fast because his base speed is a 94. So, like, you're right at the threshold of having that different type of burst. You see what I'm saying? Like, when you look at, when you try to analyze this, this is the way that I do this, right? I go into games and I try to, I look at all the stats. And another good thing for you guys to do is to always make sure, like, I don't pause my games at all. But when I go into like, I, I test stuff out when I go to the screen with the computer to see how their numbers show, just to make sure that we visibly see it, right? Calvin Johnson, he doesn't move like he's a 99 speed. You see what I'm saying? But he gets chem to a 99 speed with Legend Chem, Sprinter, and John Madden Coach. But he in no way moves like he's a 99 speed. And for most of you guys, you understand what I'm trying to explain. I don't know if there's something going on with the game uh, and if, there, if there's like a specific reasoning behind why it doesn't apply properly, but these are the things that I believe they shouldn't be allowed to do. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to tell us that investing into a certain card is going to give us certain attributes, 
we should get those attributes. Okay, like if we're not getting, like what are we really doing right now? It doesn't make any sense. If you're telling me that you're releasing a card intentionally, like just think about what they're doing. They're releasing cards intentionally to be slower, lack catching, lack all route running, lack all this stuff so that we can invest into it to get it to what it is. Now, I don't know how many of you guys played on Dreamcast. Uh, Dreamcast was like a console that was out for a little bit, like 2K was popping on it. Um, I think they released, it was like a Pokemon game where you were able to like, I don't remember what it was, bro. I think my little brother had it or something like that because I was more into 2K. But with the Pokemon thing, it was like a Pokemon fighting game. And it was ill because you could actually upgrade it. I don't know if you guys remember that. Let me know in the comments if you remember that game. Um, you could upgrade the cards. And it was fascinating because all the upgrades would matter. Like if you add, added like plus one magic or whatever, he would be out there just dominating dudes. It was, it was so ill, right? That rem that I started to think about that today in my stream uh, when I had Ryan Hollins in there. Uh, shout out to Ryan Hollins for joining us in that stream today earlier. Uh, you guys can look at you can look him up on Twitter at uh, the Ryan Hollins. You can find him on First Take. He's been all over the place. Um, you know, ra radio, all that stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff by that guy. He's a good guy, but he's also a very very terrible Madden player. But he brought up a good point. They are intentionally telling us stuff that's supposed to work and it doesn't. And we're all dealing with it, right? Is that is that something that you know could be considered like conning or stealing because we're investing? I don't know. I don't want to say that they're stealing because they're not forcing us to do it. In a way, they are, but they're not really like, yo, you got to do this. Like, it's just there, and if we want it, we could go get it. But it's not like mandatory to play or anything. The issue is we all want the best players. So in Madden 20... It's not about the mutt, the mutt team that's putting together the mutt content. It's about the development team when it goes on the field. That's what the attention should be paid to because we can't do this anymore. Like Madden 20 has to, like it just can't be in the game. Like if you can't figure out how to make a speed point matter, then you shouldn't be, like just don't do it. Just don't put it in the game because look, remember, Madden 16, when you were allowed to put like multiple people in the same spot, whatever like that, all those positions, even though you couldn't stop an aggressive catch, the speed mattered, the way that they reacted to the ball, all that stuff mattered. They just like ruined the game by taking away user control. That's all they did for that game. And then they slowly brought it back in 17, but 17 was also horrific. Then 18 was horrific. But in 16, the stats actually mattered. So if you had a fast dude, that dude was going to move like that. Madden 15 with that gold ticket Bo, uh, Bo Jackson when he had 102 acceleration. You could visibly see that his acceleration was way faster than everybody else on the field. That's how the game should be. For, for the fact that they still have bad matchmaking and you may still run into somebody with a sick team, that has nothing to do with this conversation. Because if the game is designed for ultimate team and you don't want to deal with that, play regs. Play draft champions. They give you other modes. My issue is the fact that they are taking away from other players that want what they pay for. That's why being team no money spent is such a huge thing. And like I said, earlier in the year, I was buying packs because I was really enjoying the game until they started patching it. And then now, you know what I'm saying? At this point, it's like, yo, look, there's no real reason to spend any money no more. Like, the game is just outrageous. So I'm just done. Will I go team no money spent for Madden 20? It's possible. Because I'm going to get the game no matter what, even if it's garbage. I love Madden. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to tell you guys what's really what's up. Like, I'm going to let you know regardless. Like, yo, this game right here, garbage. If it's garbage, it don't matter. Because I don't ever want any of my viewers that really mess, you know, that, that really listen to what I say to believe that I'm telling you something that I don't believe is, is, is truthful. Like, you may not agree with me, but I believe what I'm saying. These stats and traits don't matter. And I think that at this point right now, just looking at everything that's going on, no matter what the card and everything like that, it doesn't really make any sense. So I, I think that it shouldn't be in the game. Um, I don't think that it would hurt if they found another way to make us upgrade it. But like looking at the way that this stuff is, and we go through all these power-ups and we're doing all this stuff, and these guys are just not reacting. For instance, Night Train Lane, right? The dude's garbage. But let's, let's just take a look at his numbers. They intentionally made his card trash, I believe, right? So look. If you have Night Train and you're playing a guy that's coming out in the two-back set and they're throwing to the flats every play and you put Night Train in a flat, he won't play the flat. 
but he has a chemmed up 99 zone coverage. So pretty much what's happening is this. Deion Sanders will play it, but Deion Sanders is a real 99 zone. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know exactly what EA Sports is doing. I don't really understand it, but I will tell you this. When a card has it in white and it's not chemmed, they play completely different. And that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody that thinks that these blue chems mean anything, other than the fact that I want my cards to get me to a 99 as soon as possible, I know that none of that really matters. You see what I'm saying? Like, is he really a 97 speed? Probably not. But will you be able to burn him over the top if he's in the zone? No, because the game doesn't make sense. So they're going to make him wander around and just be an idiot. And that goes back to Madden 16 when Perriman just broke the game. And... Unfortunately, EA Sports listened to the wrong people and patched the game and then also, you know, in turn made Madden 16 for the second half of the year complete garbage. When when they released it, it was fine. If, if, if a guy with 97 speed is running past a guy with 92 speed, there's nothing wrong with that. But EA made the game now based off of complaints about something that they should have just left alone. If they kept the same gameplay mechanics with the exception of taking away the user capability with Madden 16 at launch, there would never be these complaints and there would be a lot of people not winning games that are winning right now. And that's just the honest truth. So I do believe that in Madden 20, like they probably going to have power-ups again. They may enhance it to make it a little bit more, you know, entertaining for us to look at it like, yo, that's dope, whatever. But in all honesty, I want to know how you guys feel about it. Do you think it should just be removed because it's not doing what they're promoting that it's supposed to be doing? Or do you think that they should just focus on making it better and you like the aspect of power-ups? Please feel free to leave a comment and let me know. If you want to become a member, click the link right there in front of you under your screen with join. Or you can click the link in the top of the description box. Being a member is going to get you your questions answered uh, during live streams. You'll get my emotes, my badges, all that good stuff. And it's just something to show your support for GMI's world. And it's truly appreciated. Shout out to all my members that have been riding with me since I was able to do that. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Have a good one. One love.